basically, peatland is a unique ecosystem. It's uh, unlike uh, the common uh, soil. Um, peatland um, basically uh, contain uh, almost 90% uh, uh, of water. So uh, that's why the management of peatland uh, cannot be same with uh, the management of the mineral soil. Um, Indonesia has a huge uh, tropical peatland. We have almost 15,000 hectares of tropical peatland. It's the uh, same with 83% uh, of the tropical peatland in Asia. Um, but uh, we uh, understand that uh, due to the mismanagement in the past, um, so many of the land uh, already degraded, uh, mostly uh, because of uh, the fire. Um, in the last um, 18 years, uh, we have uh, forest and land fire repeated uh, uh, every year. And the, the year 2015, the year 2015 um, is uh, the was the worst uh, uh, fire uh, uh, incident in in uh, Indonesia. Um, around 2.6 million hectares of forest and land uh, burned uh, last year, and. Um, almost 33-35% uh, of the fire uh, coming from the peatland. Uh, last year uh, in COP21 in Paris, uh, he announced about uh, the establishment of the Peatland Restoration Agency. And uh, on January 6, uh, this year, 2016, he um, already fulfilled the promise by establishing the Pitland Restoration Agency. The agency has a very specific task in the next five, five years. Uh, it uh, must uh, coordinate and also facilitate um, other ministries um, and also local governments, private sectors, uh, NGOs, etc. to support the acceleration of the recovery of the degraded uh, peatland. And uh, the number of uh, the degraded peatland uh, estimated around 2 million hectares. Um, and now, uh, after um, nine months, um, the agency um, already identified uh, the indicative area of the restoration by uh, producing the indicative map of the restoration uh, uh, areas and the number reached uh, 2.4 million hectares. We have the task to set up planning and also doing uh, several implementation for the 600,000 uh, hectares of the uh, of the peatland. And now we are doing the the map of of the of the peatland areas by using the lidar technology, and it uh, must be uh, finished end of this year. And we also uh, start. Uh, doing the rewetting of uh, the degraded or uh, the, the, the drain uh, peatland by building the canal blocking and also by uh, building the deep wells uh, in several uh, regions. And currently, um, we, uh, with the support of the um, um, many parties, we um, built uh, 50. Um, canal blockings and also uh, more than a uh, thousand uh, deep wells. Peatland is a unique ecosystem consists mostly uh, of uh, water so that's why making them humid is a very very important. It's very natural to have the humid peatland. Um, so that's why by uh, using uh, the canal blocking, we want to, you know, to end the drainage of the of the of the peatland. There is 
a significant you know decrease uh, in number about the hotspot compared to the last year so um, now uh, if uh, last year is a uh, 20 is uh, almost um, 30 percent of the fire coming from the peatland and now the number is uh, is around 10 to 13 uh, percent so you can see that the significant um, you know uh, drop of the of the uh, of the hot spot of the fire and um, besides that uh, we also uh, continuously uh, doing the education and the socialization for all parties in order to raise the awareness that uh, combating fire uh, is very important and the last one is uh, the law enforcement The strategy of doing the restoration uh, is by working together with uh, all parties uh, because we understand that the government alone cannot restore uh, the huge number of the, the pitland. So that's why, uh, first of all, we need to collaborate uh, with uh, the local uh, villagers and we already identified that almost 3,000 villages uh, uh, located in, in and surrounding uh, the indicative area of the peatland restoration. So we will work together with, with those people. And also um, from the 2.4 million hectares of the, um, of the uh, peatland um, area that will be restored, uh, 1.4 million uh, are located in the concession areas. So that's why uh, there, is, uh, speci uh, there is a very um, uh, important uh, role of the uh, private sector uh, to also restore uh, the areas where they are operating now. We, our, our methodology uh, for doing the uh, peatland restoration is what we call as a 3R. The first one is uh, by doing the hydrological restoration, by building, you know, by um, improving uh, the, the wrong man-made canal, uh, for example, by uh, building the, uh, the canal blocking and also the, uh, build uh, the deep wells, etc. And the second one is by doing the revegetation, particularly on the burn uh, pit plan. And we already uh, promoted that uh, the local um, species uh, is uh, the one who uh, fits with the uh, with the peatland that will, will be restored. And the third one is by revitalizing the livelihood of the local villages. So with the almost 3,000 villages, so we are now together with the academics, researchers, NGOs, private sector, identify about the commodities that can be developed by, uh, by the locals uh, in order to improve their uh, livelihood.